let's quickly jump into the camera and uh, let's talk about the camera over here. Uh, very nice 8 megapixel camera. Uh, let's pull in the HTC sensation over here to show you that it focuses on that. Uh, properly you can tap to focus and the focus is almost instant when you tap on an object it will give you a really nice and fast focus you can also turn on or off flash and put it in auto flash as well uh, switch to the front facing camera here and uh, you can see uh, our recording equipment again you have a bunch of settings that you can pull out from uh, the camera you have a self shot, flash mode, shooting mode, scene mode all those options are here as well, you can set your exposure value, you can turn on or off effects, uh, you have a bunch of effects over here, you can change your resolution, uh, you can change the white balance, ISO settings, metering settings, outdoor visibility, anti-shake is on or off, contrast, blink detection, guidelines, uh, set the image quality, you can set geotagging on or off and uh, you can set the storage from phone to memory card. This device does have a 16 GB of inbuilt storage, so you possibly do not need a memory card. If you're not a data monster like us, we have an 8 GB card installed separately on this. Uh, you can review your images uh, in a quick fashion. You can also pinch to zoom in and set it as your wallpaper. You can also instantly share it from here. The color composition and the exposure is almost perfect with the camera and it's really nice and vivid pictures uh, bring out the colors uh, properly so not a problem with, with that at all uh, it also has video recording mode and you can jump into the settings for recording mode uh, the resolution of the recording mode so uh, really nice uh, full HD video recording from uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 you don't have tap to focus in video uh, that's something which we uh, dislike uh, but you can uh, switch the flash mode to on or off so you can have a video light uh, while you're recording here as well so you can see that it will almost instantly start up video recording. It does have auto focus in video so it will focus while uh, you move around. So you won't have any issues focusing uh, on the subject and you can also do a quick playback of the video. As you can see the microphone is really sensitive and picks up sound without any problem so you will have a lot of fun using this device for taking pictures or uh, capturing video. Really nice device here from Samsung the Galaxy S2. Uh, let's talk about the other aspect. We've covered up most of the basics over here. Uh, let's talk about uh, the maps. Jumping into maps you will see that we have the latest version of Google Maps and uh, it does have uh, 3D view here as well. It's not available in our country as of now, but when 3D maps are available We'll be able to see those in this maps application. So the application is already there You can also set your layers satellite view traffic view terrain All those things you can turn on and it will give you a mix of all three things uh, Traffic info is also not available in our country uh, Again, you have the compass option over here uh, where your screen will rotate and you also have navigation so you can jump to your favorite places uh, you can find restaurants, cafes, attractions, you can find pubs, ATMs, petrol stations. All those things are available. You also have voice guided directions. Really nice standard Android Maps application. Works really nice. The display is really nice and vivid so it looks really good on this. Uh, we're going to jump into the gallery now and show you the standard Samsung feature uh, that we have. So you put two fingers on the image over here and you pull the phone and it zooms in and you push the phone and it zooms out. Uh, really nice feature from Samsung. I don't know how useful it is, but uh, I prefer pinching to zoom in because it's faster. But this feature is also available for people who would like to use it. Just a gimmicky thing from Samsung uh, to uh, add an extra feature. But it's nice either way, it looks good. You, this is your standard gallery application. Uh, so that's there as well. Let's talk about the multitasking first. Holding down the home button will give you a list of all the recent applications. Unlike other Android devices, Samsung Galaxy S2 does not quit these devices. So you can jump back into the application and you'll find it in the exact same state you left it, at, left it in. So this is the game. We left it in this exact state. So uh, it will be paused in real time in that state. And similarly with our other applications, our gallery will be in the exact same state. So if we open an image, and quit back to the home screen and we jump back to the gallery it will be in the same place that we left it in so multitasking kind of works properly on the Galaxy S2 uh, with games, with uh, your applications, videos, cameras, everything 
the Galaxy S2 will remember the last six applications that you've used and put them in the recent application bar and they'll continue to run in the background. If you want to turn those applications off or you want to quit them, you can go into the task manager and here we have the list of all running applications right now. So we have eight applications running using the CPU, using the RAM and we can exit all of them and uh, save ourselves a lot of battery life. We can go and clear the memory here as well from the task manager so it will open up a lot of memory. This does have 1 GB of onboard RAM which uh, translates to about 833 MB available RAM on the device for usage by the smartphone. I don't know how that calculation has happened but there's about 833 MB of effective RAM available on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Let's now talk about the Samsung Voice Talk application that has been included on the Galaxy S2. Double tapping on the home button will bring up Voice Talk. What would you like to do? It will ask you what you would like to do and uh, all you need to do is uh, tap to speak so What would you like to do? Navigate You can dock it in your car and uh, simply use your voice to activate this by saying Hey Galaxy Hello Barrett, what would you like to do? And it will prompt up. So you don't even need to touch the screen and it'll, it's voice activated. All you need to do is say Hey Galaxy and it will pull out the voice interface. Uh, really nice voice talk application. You can dial your numbers, you can respond to uh, texts and you can also have uh, quick launch emails and uh, the best part is the navigation. So you can simply find a dock for this for your car, navigate using the voice talk. Really nice and efficient uh, interface from Samsung, really like it. Double tapping on the home screen brings that up. Uh, really nice interface, you can customize it to speak out whatever welcome tone that you would want. As we've customized it to say, hello Bharat, what would you like to do? And you can customize it to whatever you would like. And uh, at the end of it all, we'd like to run some benchmarks over here to show you what the Samsung Galaxy S2 is capable of. So let's start with Cortex. Extremely impressive results from the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, you almost always get above 3000, 3200 currently. This is possibly the highest score that comes with the stock Android ROM installed on a device. 3000, massively impressive result for a Samsung smartphone. Uh, runs Android 2.3, dual core 1 GB of RAM, dedicated GPU. Uh, really nice result here. Uh, one more thing that we'd like to run is uh, From the front of the devices, both of them run Android 2.3. Both of them have a Gorilla Glass display, a 4.3 inch uh, screen over here. The HTC sensation has a higher resolution, it has a QHD resolution which is a 560 pixel resolution whereas this has a 480 pixel resolution. But as you can see that the LCD uh, does not show blacks as well as the Super AMOLED Plus display. So you can see a big difference here in the blacks and uh, blacks are really deep on the Samsung Galaxy S2 whereas there are, they are a little greyish 
on the HTC Sensation. Let's talk about the build quality over here. Uh, this, the HTC Sensation is absolutely possibly the most well built device in this price range that you can get today. It's super solid uh, compared to the Samsung Galaxy S2 is only plastic. The camera performance on the Samsung Galaxy S2 is slightly better than that of the HTC Sensation, although you do have dual LED flash over here. Speakerphone is again louder on the Samsung Galaxy S2. The build quality on the Sensation is absolutely brilliant. You have these tactile buttons. Uh, these buttons are really tactile and responsive and uh, you have a very nice build quality. The front glass is also a little stronger on the HTC Sensation. We saw that it didn't get scratched as easily as uh, we were able to get a couple of scratches on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Although they claim it's a Gorilla Glass display, uh, the HTC Sensation in the similar use did not get those scratches. There's also a little taper at the edges of glass that would possibly give it added strength. In terms of uh, the user interface, uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 has the TouchWiz user interface whereas the Sensation has, as you can see, the uh, HTC Sense 3.0 user interface which is a really nice user interface. We like the user interface on the HTC Sensation a little bit better than that of Samsung Galaxy S2, the TouchWiz. But you would notice that uh, this, the HTC Sense consumes a lot of RAM and um, slows down the performance of the device. We were able to get a higher quadrant benchmark result with the HTC Sense off and we'll have a full review on the HTC Sensation coming out shortly. So definitely if you'd compare the Samsung Galaxy S2 with the HTC Sensation, uh, both of them are running the same operating system and uh, both of them have their own uh, frills and fancies. The HTC Sense is much better than the Samsung Galaxy TouchWiz uh, in terms of appearance, in terms of animations, but uh, the Galaxy S2 performs better in quadrant benchmark results, is faster, is slimmer, uh, has more RAM or actually more available RAM on the device and has a nicer display here as well. The build quality is poor on the Samsung Galaxy S2 if you compare it to the Sensation, uh, but uh, the battery life on the Sensation is also much better. You can use the Sensation throughout the day without putting it on recharge whereas the Samsung Galaxy S2 we've had instances where we've had to recharge the Galaxy S2 thrice or sometimes four times a day. So that's uh, really poor battery performance from the Samsung Galaxy S2 but during those days we were also extensively testing out the device so I don't know if that counts. We got a good uh, three and a half hours of talk time on this with 3G enabled so not a very impressive talk time for a Super AMOLED display because they consume uh, much less battery compared to that on uh, the Sensation. But it looks like HTC has tried to control the full use of the processor on the Sensation and possibly a custom ROM would uh, allow you to use the processor to the full extent. Uh, HTC has probably done that to get better battery life and uh, we get about 4.5-5 uh, hours of talk time on the HTC Sensation whereas we only get 3-3.5 three, three hours of talk time on the Samsung Galaxy S2. So that was a quick comparison between the two devices and uh, the Samsung Galaxy S2 Overall, battery life apart and the build quality apart is possibly the best phone you can buy in the market today and has the beautiful, beautiful Super AMOLED Plus display which looks absolutely stunning and uh, you possibly don't even require a screen protector on this device because of the Gorilla Glass display but we'd recommend that you get one anyway and preferably if you can find an anti-glare one uh, that would work wonders and you would also prevent fingerprints which is which are very easily visible on the Galaxy S2's display. Overall, a very good device from Samsung and uh, possibly can be made better by simple use of better battery and uh, better construction. But apart from that, possibly the best phone available in the market today. This was the Samsung Galaxy S2. For more review videos, unboxings and tutorials, please visit iGAN.in or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please take out the time to rate this video. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave those in the comment section below. If you have any questions, you can log on to our forums at iganforum.com and leave your questions over there. We'll, we'll start a special thread on the Samsung Galaxy S2 where you can go and uh, post all your questions. We'll post the link to that thread in the description below. You can also catch us on Facebook and or Twitter. The links to those are at the end of this video. We hope you liked our review of the Samsung Galaxy S2. We'll also have a review video of the HTC Sensation coming up shortly so be sure to check that out as well.
बिंग भारत नागपाल फॉर आई कैन डॉट इन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग